Okay, we're getting back to Mary Tamu's math. And you heard that correct. Mary Tamu's math. By the time we're done with this study, you'll know exactly what I mean. So we're at when. And we've taken this study from who, the Bible, the resurrection, where, what, Last time we did Adonis. Now when? Now we found out that Tammuz is also called in zombie. Tammuz is also called from last week Adonis. Tammuz is also found in Inanna, which we found in Easter in Disguise. We find, I'm trying to find the word here, a dying and rising God. All kinds of things. Go back and get all. Ancient Near East peoples associated Anuzai with the springtime as Easter, when the land was fertile and abundant as Easter. During the summer months, when the land was dry and barren, it was thought that Inunzai had died. During the month of Inunzai, so there's a month called Inunzai, Tamu, which fell in the middle of summer. People all across summer, S-U-M-E-R, would mourn over his death. And I believe, Lord willing, next study we do, Lord willing, is mourning. So we'll get into that. That's coming up. Hang on. When we get to Mary Tamu's mass. In Lagash, L-A-G-A-S-H, the month of Dumuzai was the sixth month of the year. January, February, April, May. Well, May, June of our calendar. Tamu's. So we're talking about Dumuzai. Tamu's is the month of July. That corresponds with the sixth month of the year for the Lagish people, which is Enumzai, which also corresponds with Tammuz is, is the month of July in Iraq, Arabic, and Libertine Arabic, as well as the Syrian calendar and Jewish calendar, and the references to Tammuz appearing in Arabic literature from the 9th to 11th centuries AD. Even on the Jewish calendar, Tamu shows up. The Arabian and Arabic calendars, July. Drawing from the work of Syriac calendar feast day, Al Nudin, A L N A D U M, describes a Tanduz feast or festival, T A U Z. That took place in the middle of the month of Tammuz. So there's a feast within Tammuz month, the month of Tammuz. So some countries you would say in the month of Tammuz, as we would say in the month of July. Quite interesting. The same festival is mentioned in the 11th century by Ibn Athar. I-B-N-A-T-H-I-R, who recounts that it still took place every year in the appointed time along the banks of the Tigris River. Are we getting where? I think, did we do where yet? Yeah, we done where. Go back and get the video. Go back and get the audio. Download it. Put it in MP3 player. Listen to it. The same festival. Oh, uh, uh, did I just say that? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. The same festival is mentioned in the 11th century by Abner Ahar. Okay, yeah, I just said that. Tammuz is still the name of the month of July in Iraqi Arabic, Arabic. So Tammuz, the god we're studying, Mary Tammuz Mass, has his own month. 
the Mesopotamian region, god of fertility, Easter, embodying the powers for new life in nature in the spring. So it's kind of spring, six months, kind of here, there, almost like Easter is not a set time on our calendar. It's different every year. I wonder why now. The earliest known mention of Tammuz is the text dating to the early part of the early Dynastic Three period. Uh, 2600 century to 2334 BC. But the cult, that's what they call it, that's what they keep calling it, they keep calling it a cult, was much, was much older. So they don't know how far this goes back. The cult, they said it, not me, of Temu centered around two yearly feasts. One celebrating his marriage to the goddess Inanna, Easter in disguise. Remember Easter in disguise when we talked about Inanna? Tammuz, Easter, Tammuz, Easter. The two times that people go to church in the year. The two times that churches of all denominations likes to feast them, the feast and the festival. And the other eliminating his death at the hands of demons. From the page, neither world. During the third dynasty of Ur, or Ur, that's where Abraham came from. Twenty-one twelve century to two thousand four B.C. The city of Yuma, U M M A, modern Tel Jaka, J O K A A. The marriage of the gods, small g, that's their small g. I put it as small g, but they're calling it a small g. Was in drama of celebrating February, March. Yeah, we're in between Easter. Yuma's month of festival of Tamu. During the Isin Larsa, I S I N L. A R S A period 2004 century to 1792 uh, BC. The texts relate that in the marriage rite, the king actually took on identity of a god like the pharaohs, and thus, by consummating the marriage with the priestess, incarnating the goddess, magically fertilized. All the nature of that year. So the king became a god like Pharaoh. He has sexual relations with the goddess. And your apple buds and your peach buds and your strawberries and your cucumbers and your tomatoes. <coughs> and maybe your rabbits laying chocolate uh, jelly beans. And maybe making chocolate and and little hearts and stuff like that. It's a sexual perversion as Easter is. So again, we've come into Easter and Tamu. In celebrations in March and April, or March to April, that mark the death of the God also seem to have been dramatically performed. Many of the limits, 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 for the occasions have as a setting procession, a parade, out of out into the desert to the fold of a slain god. So they would march for their slain god as they march for Mary. And I've seen the Catholic Church in St. Mary's Church in New London, Connecticut, where I grew up as a Catholic. I would see them pray down Huntington Street. Mary on their shoulders with money being taken to her. 
And every once in a while, the news, the local newspaper, I don't know if I can mention the name of the newspaper, would show you a nice, good front page story, if not the front page of the front page, at least the front page of the regional. Here's these Catholics adoring their God in a parade. Exactly where I was at. In Assyria, however, in the 7th century BC, the ritual took place in June, July. So the dates are all messed up, like Easter's all messed up. Now you know why. In major cities of the realm, a couch was set up for the god upon which he lay in state. His body entered appears to have been symbolized by the assemblage of vegetable matter, honey, and variety of other food. Are you a vegetarian? I'm not saying anything wrong with vegetarian, but I mean, this guy looks like he's a V8. He's a garden. He's a garnish. And he's dead because he's lying in the state for everybody to see. I mean, my Jesus died, but he arose from the grave three days and three nights, according to the scripture, is now seated at the right hand of the Father. The cult of Tammuz, again, they're saying the cult of Tammuz, can be traced back to around 3000 BC as a Babylonian Sumerian original. Mary Tammuz Mass has Babylonian roots, Assyrian roots, and it goes into Greece or Greek, and it goes to Rome, and all into the Middle East. And that's it for when. Next time, Lord willing. We're going to pick up the morning. We're doing all these. And then look what comes after Lord willing, Lord willing after that. We got morning. We got six points of morning. And we got Istar. Mary Tamuz Mass. Do you think you should be celebrating this? You may be celebrating unknowingly. Stay tuned, I guess they say on the television.